Peyton right now, you know, it, it, it can be tough when you lose a beloved pet, when your pet passes away. Anyone knows this. A local artist, she's right here. Uh, her name is uh, Joan. Good to have you, Joan. Uh, trying to help ease the pain of all of that. Because, you know, if you've been through it. Absolutely. You definitely don't want to, but you want to remember your pet. And Joan is from JFCRN. It's a custom pet sculptures uh, company. And uh, not only did you bring these amazing sculptures, uh, but you also have a book where people can learn how to sculpt themselves, right? Exactly. Awesome. So tell us about these sculptures and what inspires you. Okay, so all of these, what you're seeing here right now, are some of my projects for my clients. And these are 100% handmade sculptures made out of wire, foil, polymer clay, and painted with deco art acrylic paint. As you can see here is something that you can touch oh, it if you okay. want. okay, so That's this is like, like a stage one or two <laughs> right, before right. it's completed. Right. Completely, okay. What's special about these sculptures is that they are very personalized for each pet owners. So the order process is I ask them, you know what style they yeah. want and then i wanted to make sure that each piece has a story and it shows the character of the pet and for example right here um I, got yeah. the, the squeaky yeah. ball in his mouth how I, cute is that <laughs> i incorporate the favorite toy of the yeah. pet and make sure you know the facial expressions are in there yeah because they have so much personality right right and Definitely. that i want to make sure and here's a twist um, last year when I started creating pet sculptures for people, I've recognized that there is a problem when it comes to pet memorials. All of my clients expressed that they kept their ashes of their pet, but they don't want to see it in a box. Right. Okay. It makes them sad. They want sad. to remember their pet in the good moments, right, right? Right, right. And so as a pet sculptor, that's my purpose, is to help them heal from bed yeah. loss and to have some kind of closure. I have two so, dogs that are under the age of three, and I'm like, can I order one of these right now? Because yeah, right. I need one right now. <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing, is when this happens, it's a hard time to talk about it because a lot of people are mourning the loss of their pet. Yeah. And so it's a, t it's a tough subject, but at the same time, people want a way to, I mean, they're so realistic looking. Mm -hmm. Right. And here, I, I can show you a little bit. Um, like, for example, this one is an urn. Is a disguised urn. Oh, is that's that right? my that's my solution to this problem. Wow. That the entire sculpture is the containers in the body Very and cool. then that pig right there is the lid. No so way. you is that okay. that's detachable and then the hole goes in the mouth. And it's not necessarily that style. Mm -hmm. It depends on the client's it depends on the client's yeah. preference, size, the style and the items that I want to incorporate in it and how I want the piece to function. All right, so price range and where people can get more information. I'm um, in my website, okay. uh, www.jfcrn.com. JFCRN, uh -huh. and the price range starts at? Um, 425 for the small one. It depends oh, okay. on the size. And okay. for the 10 inch, the biggest one, I offer it. Um, locally and if you Local. have an eye for art she's got this yeah. great book too where you can uh, pretty much learn how to do those oh, yeah. very cool. awesome. well, thank you very thank you. I mean thank I, it's you. such a great way to remember your pet and like you said you don't want to sit and stare at a box you want to stare at a good yeah. memory of your pet so thank you for coming in and talking thank about you. that Joan. thank you Denver makes near the